Hi, welcome to another edition of LabCast. In this edition, we'll be continuing our dissection of the crayfish. Last episode, we looked at the external anatomy of the crayfish, and in this episode, we'll be looking at the internal anatomy. For this lab, you'll need a uh, dissection kit, a dissection pan, and a pair of little gloves. All right, let's get started. So here I have my crayfish and my dissection pan and I'm going to be making three cuts through the exoskeleton of the crayfish. I'm going to be cutting through uh, the carapace, which is the top covering of uh, the crayfish, and we're going to follow the lines that are already there. Um, there's kind of a, an oval shape that goes along the crayfish's back, and then we'll also be removing the exoskeleton up near the head area. The exoskeleton is kind of uh, similar in composition to a fingernail and because there's very delicate organs underneath the exoskeleton, I'm going to be using my scalpel to make an initial incision and then using my scissors to cut the exoskeleton off. And I'm going to make my incision right along the center line of the crayfish. Once I have that incision, I'm going to take my scissors and make those cuts. I can use my forceps to remove the covering. And there we go. So we've got one side, or one cut done. Now I'm going to remove the portion of the carapace that covers the head. And again, I'm going to use my scissors. forceps to remove it. Now I have access to the internal organs of the crayfish. Now right away a few structures jump right out at you. On the sides of the crayfish are these feathery um, structures. And these are the gills of the crayfish. This is how they breathe. They filter water through these gills and exchanges oxygen and carbon dioxide. There's one on either side. Most of the organs of the crayfish are found in the center and um, the largest is the stomach. The stomach is located right underneath the uh, top part of the exoskeleton uh, that covers the head and mine is still attached to the carapace. So I'm going to pull it off and then we'll take a closer look at it. So this here is the stomach and um, it's kind of interesting inside of the stomach are some very interesting uh, uh, second pair of teeth that are in the stomach and help to digest food. Below the stomach um, I can see these two white structures right here and this confirms to me that I have a male crayfish. These would be the testes uh, where sperm are uh, made so I know that I do have a male. If I look into the thoracic uh, or cephalic region of the crayfish that is into the head I can see the brain and it's going to be tough for you to see it but the brain is located right between the eyes and can be identified because it is a um, 
a fairly small white tissue area and radiating out from it are numerous thread-like um, structures which are nerves and most of those nerves run to the eyes and to the antenna. So if you look right down into there you'll see that. Just below the brain to the left and the right are green glands. These are the bladders of the crayfish and these bladders are excreted underneath uh, the antenna. So the crayfish excretes waste at the front of its body which makes sense because it swims backward. So it excretes waste out the front and swims backward. Looking towards the back of the crayfish underneath the reproductive organs, the testes that we just saw, we would find some um, additional nerves and also the intestine. The best way to see the intestine is to make an incision in the tail. I'll go ahead and do that now. This is the part of the crayfish that is eaten and it is primarily muscle. So I'm going to make an incision with my scalpel down the tail then I'll finish it off with my scissors. It's a lot easier to cut with the scissors. So normally this exoskeleton is peeled back and this is the part of the crayfish that would be boiled or stewed. You can see it's a very muscular part of the crayfish. It can flex very rapidly. This is what gives crayfish its ability to swim uh, quickly. And right on top of the tail is a portion of the intestine. It's that black line that you can see. Right there, that would be the intestine extending from the stomach towards uh, the anus, which is at the last tail segment. Another interesting thing that you can do with your crayfish is to examine the claws, the chelipede. And what I'm going to do is um, take one of the claws off. If you look at them, it, it's similar in construction to the human arm. If you've got your forearm right here, and then I guess you call this the wrist, and then the hand part. I'm going to cut just above the wrist, um, right on the hand. And now that that claw is separate, if you look down, you'll notice uh, the muscles connecting the two parts of the pinchers. And if you carefully move the claws apart with your hands, you should begin to see the muscles move uh, inside. And depending on how uh, preserved your specimen is, you can grab that tendon with your forceps and move the claws. If, they've been, if the specimen's been soaking for a long time, this is difficult because they can be very soft. But there you see, if you grab that right tendon, give it a pull, you can open and close the, the claws, which is kind of neat to do. So those are the primary parts of the crayfish. Um, you can see there's a lot of gills. Um, Quite a bit of muscle, it's a very muscular organism, and uh, a fairly complex nervous system as well, as it has eyes and several sets of antenna. So I hope you um, are able to find these structures. Good luck to you.